Assalamualaikum to everyone Alright, for today we are going to learn new chapter Under sale of goods We have to skip topic uh, 3 of uh, law of agency Because we need to focus this topic eh, for, for the purpose of your written assignment Alright, the outline for sale of goods First, we are going to start with a nature of law of sale of goods, the introductions, and then how a contract of sale is going to be formed, okay, the parties, the the in term of the formations, okay, next is a uh, terms of the contracts, express terms, impact terms. Take you note know that impact terms under SOGA is very important. Transport of property in goods. Transport of title, there is a difference eh, between transport of property in goods and transport of title. Last but not least is the remedies for breach. Okay, and uh, one more uh, topic. Okay, that is um, uh, that is um, stated under sale of goods is online transactions. Okay, you are going to learn the legal protections and uh, redress mechanism. Okay, but uh, this is for the purpose of your knowledge and understanding. Alright, okay, uh, start with the introduction of sale of goods. Okay, sale of goods also uh, uh, will be called as a soga eh, in our lecture today. Alright, so the principal uh, legislation that governs sale of goods contract in Malaysia is sale of goods at 1957. Okay, and section 1 of the Sale of Goods Act provides that the Act shall have effect within the peninsula Malaysia only. Okay, how about Sabah and Sarawak? Okay, they are based on section 5, subsection 2 of the Civil Law Act 1956. The Sale of Goods contract in Sabah and Sarawak is governed by the law administered in England at the corresponding period. Alright, next. Okay, basically, uh, the contracts for the Sale of Goods are basically the same as any other contract under contract law so the legal principles the elements okay, that governing the contract also same for example a capacity to enter into soga contract there must be elements of offer acceptance consideration etc okay however under uh, under this chapter we are not going to discuss the elements of soga contract okay but we need to focus the uh, in terms of its formations, okay, terms, impact terms, okay. Yang tu yang lebih penting, okay, and this one. Okay, definition of goods, section 2 of the Sale of Goods Act 1957 defines the words goods as meaning every kind of a movable property other than actionable claims and money and includes stock and shares, growing crops, and things attached to or forming part of the land which are agreed to be severed before sale or under the sale of contract of sale. Okay, based on this definition, okay, basically there are five types of goods governed under SOGA. Okay, first let me highlight to you that every kinds of movable property. Okay, so to know that it must be a movable property. Other than actionable claim. Okay. Other than actionable claim and money. And it also includes stock and shares. Okay. Growing crops. Grass. And thing attached to the land. Okay. Thing attached to the land. Which are agreed to be severed, meaning that you akan asingkan from the land. Okay. For example, let's say a transaction in selling and buying transaction of a timber, kayu balak, right? Okay. So you need to severed it from the land. Okay. So based on this definition under section two, soga will govern a movable property only. Take note. Okay. And SOGA will not govern immovable property such as house, buildings, okay, land, alright. So, 
land is excluded from the sale of goods at. Alright, now my question is, how about land, house, buildings, okay, or things that attach to the land, fits to the land? So what type of contract will govern them? Okay, so for land, the contract is sale and purchase agreement. Okay, so same goes as for uh, contracts for um when you want to you when you want to buy a house. Okay, you need to sign an agreement and this agreement called as sale and purchase agreement, not soga agreement. Okay, goods which form the subject of a contract of sale may either be existing goods or future goods, as in section six of the sale of goods at 1957. Okay, now what is and existing goods. Okay, existing goods meaning that goods that are already owned or possessed by the seller. Okay, at the time the seller want to sell it to the buyer, the goods possessed by the seller. Okay, and maybe either a specified or agreed upon at the time of contract of sale is made. Alright, and then a specific or ascertain goods means goods identified and agreed upon the time a contract of sale is made. Meaning, you have ascertained the goods that you want to buy. For example, if Ali agrees to buy Mahmoud's car, bearing a registration number WPP888, this is a contract for the sale of specific or ascertained goods. Why? Because they have specifically mentioned in the contract. Okay, uh, subject matter is a car and then bearing registration number WPP888. So, a very specific, they have a certain goods. Alright, unascertained goods are those identified by description only. Okay, meaning that you enter into transaction based on descriptions. For example, Alim buys from Mutu a watch dealer. Two Rolex Ghost watches, the goods will be a certain goods only when they have been appropriated to the contract. As when the two Rolex Ghost watches have been set aside for a link in accordance with the contract. Okay, so they have entered into the transaction based on the descriptions only. Okay, next is future goods. Future goods means that goods to be manufactured, meaning that at the time a buyer entered into contract of sale with the seller, the goods is not possessed by seller. Okay, the good is going to be produced. Uh, manufactures or acquired by the seller. Okay, for example, uh, in agreement to sell two units of Volvo, two for OGL A yet to be manufactured by the seller. Okay, and then uh, another example, two units, uh, two units have not been set aside for the buyer in accordance with the contract, meaning they have not uh, uh, ascertained the goods yet. All right, and then example of sale of future. But specific or a certain goods in an agreement entered into by a second hand car dealer to sell a second hand Volvo 244 GL and bearing registration number WW1010 to a buyer when both the seller as well as the buyer knew that at the time the contract was made, the said car belonged to another person who had approached the dealer to sell the car on his behalf. In other words, the goods, the car is going to be acquired by the Seller. At the time they sign the contract, okay, the car is not there, right? Okay, and then the meaning of contract of sale of goods, you may refer to section 4, subsection 1 of the uh, sale of goods act. Okay, it is a contract whereby the seller transfers, okay, the seller transfers or agree to transfer to the property in goods. Did note, property in goods means ownership. Okay, to the buyer for a price. Okay, so there must be uh, an agreement made between them. Okay, whereby seller agrees to transfer property in goods to transfer the ownership in goods to the buyer for a price. So price must not there. Uh, sorry, price must be there. Mesti ada price. Okay, so the three elements eh, based on the above uh, sections. Goods to be transferred to the buyer, seller transfers or agrees to transfer property in goods to buyer, eh, to transfer the ownership to buyer and there must be a price. 
Okay, and then you must uh, distinguish uh, between sale and agreement to sell. Okay, sale means a contract under which the part, sorry, the property in the goods is transferred from the seller to the buyer. Meaning that at the time you enter into contract, there will be a, there will be a sale contract. For example, okay, you are going to buy groceries at my Dane hypermarket. So when you pay for the groceries, meaning that you have entered into sale contract. Uh, okay, meaning that the property in the goods, the ownership is transferred to you at the time the contract was made. Okay, whereas an agreement to sell is a contract under which the transfer of the property in the goods is to take place at future time. Take note, eh? agreement to sell is the transfer of the property in goods. The ownership will be transferred at a future time or subject to some condition uh, to be fulfilled as stated under section 4, subsection uh, 3. Okay, and then uh, an agreement to sell becomes a sale when the time lapse or the condition are fulfilled subject to which the property in the goods is to be transferred. So, it depends on the uh, terms uh, and conditions of the contract. Okay, next we continue with formation of contract of sale.